Hello folks, this is Mike Frisell, and this is another episode of This Old Dwelling. Well, here we are in a small town of uh, Wine and Skill, New York here. Uh, we're heading up to the household now. See what we're up against. Well, here we are. We're at the household. Uh, let's head inside and check it out. Well, looks like what we're up against here is uh, the client would like a concealed cat litter box and a microwave stand right here in this location. Uh, so we're going to design and build it and uh, I think it'll look great. Well folks, this is uh, the beginning stage of the microwave slash cat litter stand uh, we got to go ahead and build some sort of frame and then I'm gonna put MDF on the side in the back give it some sheer strength and then trim it out but uh, right now we're gonna make some sort of frame I went inside and got some rough measurements of the microwave and the, the cat box there so uh, we need it to be 18 inches deep by 27 wide and 5 foot tall. So uh, let's start measuring some stuff and uh, see if we can make a couple cuts. So I think I'm just going to start off with two five foot pieces for the sides and we'll just figure it out from there. So we'll have these two for the sides here and uh, we got to come up and put a shelf halfway and then a shelf on the top, but uh, we'll see what happens. Well, we got a little bit of the frame going here. Uh, I'm just making it as I go here, but uh, I gotta cut back those two by six here because the cats are gonna enter through the side and that's where the box will be. So I gotta hack this down so there's enough room for the box to go through the side.
Now let's get a jigsaw and uh, finish the cut. Well, we got a little farther here on the frame of the microwave stand here, and uh, so what we're up against on this side is that's where the little doorway is going to be for the cat litter box. But uh, I just went inside and measured the cat litter box at 17 inches wide. So right here, I cut the bottom out. So up here, I got to cut this out. We'll see how much we can get. So the best I could do is an inch down. So we'll measure an inch down here. And an inch down here. so you can see. But I gotta cut up into this two by six and across and down so the cat litter box can slide in through the side. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna take off an inch of here, keep the same opening here. So I went with two foot. So I'll take this down on the ground there. Hopefully we can plunge cut this without breaking the fucking thing. Uh, we'll see what happens. Take the jigsaw and uh, finish this cut.
right, well, that's that for now, and uh, I'll keep you posted. Well, the, the frame's coming together pretty good here, and uh, this is the hole for the, the cat litter box to slide through. But uh, down here on the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and make a circle cut here to make a little leg. So uh, we'll go ahead, we'll drop the circular saw in to the both points, and then we'll take the, uh, the jigsaw around, and uh, we'll see how it looks. to the ground here and <laughs> well you guys can see that but I just came off came in this way with a circular saw a little bit in here so I'm gonna curve it out with the uh, the jigsaw see just the little leg there and uh, we'll finish the other three and uh, we'll start going on the shelves. Well, folks, this is Mike Purcell Construction here on another episode of uh, this old dwelling. And uh, today we went ahead and built a uh, microwave stand slash cat litter box. And uh, I think it turned out great. And uh, I think it's time for a beer.
Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of This Old Dwelling. I hope you enjoy. Have a great night.